later on, uh, I heard that they, my mother um, was talking that they're going to close the ghetto. And every day they've been sending Jews away. They've been taking away from the ghetto until just a few are left. And uh, we've been still there because my mother worked and my uncle worked. So he's, my cousin's still been there. And that day we heard uh, my, the po Jewish policeman, uh, Chizik, I'm sorry, the Polish policeman, Mr. Chizik, used to come once in a while to visit. And sometimes he might bring us food or something. And uh, he came that day and he said that they're going to close the ghetto. And uh, he said to my mother that she should come to his house and uh, with me. And he didn't want anybody else, just my mother and me, and he will hide us. Uh, at that time, he was, uh, I would think he was around his 50s, I'm not sure. And he, uh, I heard later that he discovered that he had cancer. And he was a very religious Catholic, and he wanted to do something good before he dies. And uh, that was his way of doing something good. He said once to my mother, and she told me that he did so many bad things over in his life that this, he wants something before he died to do good. And that's why he kept, he kept us for two years in his house. At first we came there. Well, so <laughs> go back for a second to the, the day that you, he came to visit, how did you get out of the ghetto? ghetto? We uh, snuggled at night. Uh, we took with us whatever we could carry. We took blanket. Uh, I remember we had those down blanket. We would carry it and uh, uh, clothes and coat and uh, whatever we could. We carried, and uh, my mother and I and we we left. And what do you remember about? I remember Goodbye. that I was, I, I didn't know what's going to happen with my cousins, and I was worried. And my mother said, I, her, their father is there, and we have to go with her. We don't have no other chance. Uh, otherwise, they send us away to the concentration camp. 